Supportive care in cancer is really, really important, not least because the number of people who are living with cancer is growing hugely year on year. And that means we must have robust treatments and procedures and guidelines to help support patients through their cancer treatments. Because patients with cancer can suffer problems as a result of their cancer and also as a result of their cancer treatments. Chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, CINV, is an example of such a symptom that's really, really important that we try and work hard to prevent CINV and to treat it when it occurs. Over the last 30 years, CINV treatment has improved hugely. So about 20 years ago, there was the introduction of the 5-HT3 antagonists. And then more recently, we've had the introduction of the neurokinin-1 antagonists. And these have really helped to improve our treatment and improve patient experience to help them through their chemotherapy treatments. If you mention chemotherapy to the man in the street, the first thing they'll say is, it makes you feel really sick. And if we didn't have all these uh, drugs to help and the trials and evidence behind them, then most people would experience significant nausea and vomiting with chemotherapy. So uh, we've got really good tools now and really good medication backed up by international guidelines and treatments which can help to prevent that symptom. And it's really, really important that we help patients to get through their cancer treatments uh, to complete them as best we can. It's good news for patients because there's a whole range of new treatments. And what's important is that patients uh, understand that, uh, as well as the clinicians uh, who are treating them, uh, that they understand that and they're aware of the whole uh, range and, and when to use these drugs. And of course, the new uh, international guidelines uh, can help clinicians uh, in their conversations with patients about which drugs to use. But the other thing that's important is that we apply an individualised approach to care and we treat the patient who is in front of you. For example, it might be that some patients have cancers uh, that mean they can't swallow properly. So then clearly we need to tailor our CINV treatment to those patients to ensure that they still get excellent CINV treatment.